can you tell me what this is? So these are the beets right here. Had to trim some of these leaves, had a bit of a bug problem. Nursed this thing back to health. But my son bought me these ladybugs to help me get rid of the rest of the bugs that were left. What you do is you release them in the evening and they'll stick around if they find food, like, like this one here. But I got quite a few that still stuck around all around the yard. So we'll see what happens with the rest of the bugs, but I pretty much have it under control now. If you do use these, make sure you release them where the bugs are, because if they don't find food, they will fly away. My son also bought me these praying mantis eggs. They come in a cocoon. It's like one to 200 eggs in there. So you put the cocoon in the garden, wherever your bug infestation is, and when they hatch, they'll stick around. They sit around and they wait for other bugs to walk by and they grab them and eat them. They don't fly away. So we'll see what happens. That's what the website says anyway, but we'll see what happens. Got the cucumbers ready to come up. we flowering in there. Uh, a little bit, got some time to wait. These are the peas. Real small plant, but a lot of peas. I don't normally grow peas, but decided to try some this year. Let me know in the comments why you think this plant is so small. A lot of peas, a lot of big fat peas, pea pods, but the plant is real small, real weird. Let me know what you think. That's the greenhouse. And over here we have cabbage, Brussels sprouts, got that sunflower in the back. Had a bit of an aphid problem over here also. More cabbage and Brussels sprouts. We got spinach, some beets, cilantro. Yeah, cilantro, kale, I think that was Chinese cilantro, I believe. We got berries, we got, what else we got going on over here? Some Swiss chard, we got some, I don't know why these lemons are turning orange, but it is what it is. But the real thing I wanted to show you was this here. This is a yucca plant. This thing here, all the aphids get attracted to that. They leave all the other plants and go over here. This thing is filled with aphids and dies off and comes back next year. All right, and these are the melons. These are mango melons. No, they're not. These are hammy melons. Yeah, these are hammy melons. And before last year, I grew them, I grew them two in a pot. So I'm trying three in a pot this year. They grew pretty big. We're going to see what happens. Over here we have corn. We got a few different types of tomatoes. Pear tomatoes, cherry, steak. Now this sunflower back here look like it's struggling. Well, I can fix that. That's not a problem. And we got mint over there. But these are the yams. I mean, yams. I'm saying it crazy. Yams. These are yams. They're growing pretty well. Got them growing in a grow bag. That's the end of the garden tour for now. Sun drinker, grow your own food. Let's go.